Hi, welcome to Automotive Show EKG Canadian Enthusiast. Today we are doing the last comparison test to see which is the best entry level compact luxury sports sedan. Today we are doing to see which is the best American compact luxury sports sedan. So, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my show. So today we are going to look at three vehicles, very essential. And the first one, the Tesla Model 3 Performance. It's always there. And of course the Cadillac CT5V, not the Blackwing but the normal V variant, the S4, S5, IS500 competitor. CT4V, uh, this is the non-Blackwing version there. So let's talk specs immediately, let's not waste time. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my show. Uh, the CT5V starting price is $50,095 with over $16,965 of options and comes with all wheel drive. Total price $71,575. Powered by a 3 liter twin turbo V6 making 360 horsepower, 4.9 seconds of 60, 170 mile hour top speed and 21 miles per gallon. Uh, and the, after that what you get is the Cadillac CT4V. Powered by a 2.7 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine, a four cylinder in a compact luxury sports sedan. I don't know what's the point there. That's why the black wing is so good. I just don't know why people would buy this. I just don't know why. But I have to put this thing, damn thing in actually. Uh, this is the V variant all wheel drive again. Uh, starting price $47,090. Uh, $47, $14,000 of the options. Total price $62,839. Making a powered by 2.7 4 cylinder turbo engine, making 325 horsepower, 4.8 seconds to 60, 156 mile hour top speed, and does 23 miles per gallon. Not least but not last, the Tesla Model 3 Performance. I hate the Tesla Model 3 Performance, it's just so overvalued. But I'm going to be unbiased. My feelings don't matter in this comparison test, I just want to be clear. Starting price per is $53,940. Options $15,000. Now remember, the $15,000 of the options, half of that, 90% of that goes for the course for self-driving technology, which is $12,000 worth of option, just so you should know. Total price $73,990. Yeah, that is actually quite funny. Uh, that this has dual electric motors, 450 horsepower, 3.1 seconds to 60, and 162 mile hour top speed. And the range is 315 mile hour range. Now to make this impartial, I won't include MPG or range in the daily requirements because you got two internal combustion vehicles versus one EV. So it would be unfair. So I'm going to be impartial on that. So on the requirements on the daily front, the interior wise, the CT5 gets 10 out of 10 compared to Tesla. It's it's, it's picture perfect, really. 9 out of 10 for the CT4 and the Tesla Model 3, 4 out of 10. Its interior is just a computer. If you want a fast computer, and if you think computers are luxurious, well, that's what it is. I'm sorry, that's the truth. 4 out of 10. In terms of comfort, 10 out of 10 for the CT5, 9 out of 10 for the CT4, and 7 out of 10 for the Tesla Model 3. In terms of technology, there is no question. Tesla, 10 out of 10. The both the Cadillacs get 9 out of 10 because both of them have super cruise and extra features. 7 out of 10 in terms of uh, practicality for the CT5 and 6 out of 10 for the CT4. And 10 out of 10 for the Tesla Model 3 because it's an EV and it's a liftback so obviously it's more practical. In terms of quality, again compared to Tesla, Cadillac gets, CT5 gets 10 out of 10, CT4 9 out of 10 and Tesla 3 out of 10. I seen people, I seen in the internet people complaining about broken door, door annals, falling apart interior bits, bad quality everywhere. In fact, they won't even put break, breaking thing, even breaking functions fail. That's how bad Tesla quality is. So you can see clearly that Tesla is not faring well, but it does well in some areas, but weak in some areas. You think it will do well in performance, right? Let's see how the weekend goes for the Tesla, 7 out of 10 for the CT5, 6 out of 10 for the CT4 and 10 out of 10 for the Tesla in terms of performance. You can't challenge that, I won't. In terms of handling, compared for the Tesla, 10 out of 10 for the CT5, 9 out of 10 for the CT4, 5 out of 10 for the Tesla Model 3. And styling, really 10 out of 10 for the CT5, 9 out of 10 for the CT4, 4 out of 10 for, uh, for the Tesla. The Tesla Model 3 looks like a shoebox. If you like a freaking shoebox, well, you will like a Tesla. I'm sorry, that's the truth. 
brand prestige 10 out of 10 for Cadillac compared to Tesla Cadillac is well known even if they are not what it is even if they are not good at all even if Lexus or the Americans or the other Europeans destroyed but when it comes to Tesla 10 out of 10 for Cadillac both of them brand prestige Tesla 5 out of 10 very few people like them and all of those are viewers and and tech nerds I love tech nerds but not when it comes to Tesla love and tech nerds that's the thing uh, future classics same 10 out of 10 for both the Cadillacs and 5 for Tesla value for money 10 out of 10 for the CT4 it's cheaper than the CT5 and I think there is no major difference in terms of performance because both CT5 CT4 V models don't give you much handling or performance they are actually very bad they don't handle good they are not that excellent but they offer a good amount of performance for your money but the CT5 sorry, CT4 gets 10 out of 10 because for me it offers the best value overall overall CT5 9 out of 10 7 out of 10 for the Tesla Model 3 as a package, good performance, it's an EV. But I don't think as a value proposition it's good as Cadillac because it lacks brand prestige, it lacks a good interior, it lacks quality, it lacks everything else. What makes it a vehicle as a whole. So overall, the winner and the top two that will join the finale is, are, are the twin Cadillacs. CT5V 102 points, CT4V 96 points. Uh, so that means the twin Cadillacs will join the Europeans and the Asian brands. Well done Cadillac. Of course Tesla come dead last with 70 points finishing third. So what is the final conclusion? The conclusion is in this comparison test Cadillac did brilliantly. But you will see in the finale Cadillacs are not going to do well. They are going to struggle. Remember, the IS500 F Sport is a proper M3 competitor, despite being sold as S4 competitor. Same thing for the RCF. The S4s and all those competitors are much faster and quicker and better and much better quality. So, so enjoy the success. If you are an American fan, enjoy the success what you see here because you won't see a lot in the finale. So, that is my prediction. Just saying. So, on this notion, I am going to end this video. Thank you very much.